In this video, you'll see how to organize the related columns and rows into groups in the DevExpress spreadsheet control. To get started, create an outline of rows manually and select the rows you wish to group. On the Data tab, in the Outline group, click the Group button and then select the Group item in the Buttons drop-down menu. Once the group is created, you can collapse it by clicking the minus outline symbol. Click the plus symbol to display group data again. To ungroup data, click the Ungroup button and select the Ungroup item. Next, to outline the data automatically, click Group and then click Auto Outline. The automatic outline of columns will be created based on the formula specified in the summary column to the right of the group of detail columns. To remove an outline, click Ungroup and then click Clear Outline. You also have the capability to insert summary rows for related data using the subtotal command. Select the range for which you wish to insert subtotals. Click the subtotal button in the outline group. In the invoked subtotal dialog, select the state column in the at each change in the drop-down list. Use the sum function to calculate subtotals. Next, in the add subtotal to box, select the checkboxes for the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and yearly total columns to calculate subtotals for their values. Click OK. The related rows that have the same value in the state column are grouped with the summary rows displayed for each group. You can collapse the desired inner group to display only the data you need. Now let's change the function code in the subtotal formula to 109 to ignore the hidden values in the collapsed group. Collapse the data for the Idaho state. The grand total result for the yearly total column is changing depending on whether the group is collapsed or expanded. You can also group and outline data in code by using the Spreadsheet API. For example, to insert subtotals, specify the range which contains data you wish to subtotal. Now create a list of column indexes that define columns for which the subtotals should be calculated. Call the worksheet.subtotal method to insert subtotals every time a value in the state column with the index 1 changes. The sum function with the code 9 is used to create subtotals. OK, now let's run the application. And you can see that the code grouped the related rows and displayed summary information for each group. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing. DevExpress.